In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move a sequence into another sequence, either as individual clips or as nested clips. So I have two sequences open. I have sequence one on top and I have sequence two on the bottom. And this is called a pancake or a stack timeline. I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial on how to create this. Let's say you're done editing sequence two and you want to add it to sequence one. For that, all you need to do is come over here to the project bin, select sequence two and drag it onto the timeline of sequence one. You can see here that all of the individual clips came. So everything you see down here in the sequence two timeline has gone to the sequence one timeline. And if you want to insert or overwrite a sequence into another sequence as a nested clip, all you need to do is click on this little icon right here. You see if I hover over it, it says insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. So I just showed you how to do individual clips. Now I want to click on this and I take sequence two and drag it onto the timeline of sequence one. You can see here, it's going to come in as a nice, neat nested clip. And if you ever need to edit a nested clip, just simply double click on it and it'll open up all the individual clips. So to recap, this little icon right here allows you to insert and overwrite sequences into each other as either nests or individual clips. So with it toggled off, if you drag a sequence onto another sequence, it's going to bring it in with the individual clips. Once you toggle this on, when it turns blue, when you drag a sequence onto another sequence, it's going to bring it in as a nice, neat nested clip. And if you ever need to edit a nested clip, all you need to do is simply double click on it and it'll open up so you can edit the individual clips.